Now, if all that wasn't enough excitement for one day, New Zealand First Leader Winston Peters is launching legal action after his superannuation overpayments were leaked to the media in the run-up to the election. We'll all remember this during the campaign. Mr Peters admitted after questions from the media that he'd been overpaid his pension for seven years, but he'd given the money back. Three separate investigations failed to get to the bottom of who leaked the information. Mr Peters is now seeking disclosure of documents from numerous former national government ministers, their staff and two journalists. Our political reporter Sarah Robson joins us now live from the gallery office. Hi Sarah, what can you tell us about this legal action? So what we know is Mr Peters has served legal papers on a number of people. They include the former Prime Minister and National Party leader, Bill English, um, his deputy, Paula Bennett, and former ministers, Stephen Joyce and Anne Tolley. As well as those, there's also Mr English's former Chief of Staff, Wayne Eagleson, and National's Campaign Press Secretary, Clark Hennessy. MSD's um, chief executive, Brendan Boyle, is also um, there, as well as two journalists, News Hub's Lloyd Burr and Newsroom's Tim Murphy. What we know is Mr Peters is seeking a raft of information in a process known as discovery. And that, in that information includes phone records, emails, dra um, draft um, sort of notes and that sort of thing, and any other documentation. So the serving of the legal papers is a preliminary step in and in this process, and if any court case does eventuate, it looks like it will be taken under the Privacy Act. Right, all of this has happened this afternoon. Have we heard from anyone involved, Sarah? Mr Peters himself is actually at the APEC meeting in Vietnam and his lawyer Cliff Lyons said he wasn't um, in a position to be making any statements. We have heard from a spokesperson for the National Party leader Bill English and um, they say that the National Party people named all continue to refute any suggestion they had any involvement in the leak and of, of the information and they will be responding accordingly. We don't know whether that means that that um, they might refuse to release any of the information that Mr Peters is seeking, or whether they might um, defend or fight any legal action that might eventuate from this process. Um, in a statement, Clark Hennessy said that he strongly denies any involvement in this matter or in anything to do with Mr Peters' personal life. Uh, when we asked Ms Ardern, the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, about this on her caucus run this afternoon, she said that Mr Peters had actually given her a heads up late last week that he would be pursuing this matter. She said she didn't have the full details, but she was aware it would be happening. However, she said it was a personal matter for Mr Peters and she wouldn't be making any further comment. Now, one interesting note, the legal papers were actually signed by Mr Peter's lawyers on the 22nd of September. So of course that was the day before the general election. Sir Robson live from our gallery office, Tim Murphy from Newsroom uh, posted a tweet of a photo of himself on Twitter being served with the papers. All of this happening this afternoon, although as Sarah said the papers were signed September 22nd.